Now that your trees are finished, you're going to have two pieces of paper. They need to be different colors. We're going to turn these two pieces of paper into houses. One will be up close, one will be far away. So pick a direction for your piece of paper and I'm going to cut off the top corners. That's it. I didn't cut the bottom corners. I didn't cut anywhere else, just the top two corners. On your other piece of paper, pick your direction. So if it stands up, your house will be two story. Same thing, cut a corner, cut a corner. Next, we're going to take your two houses and make one or both look 3D. So one of them, we can be looking at just the front. On the other one, I want to see more than one side to this house. So you decide which one will be 3D or if both are going to be 3D. And let me show you how it is done. So if I take this red building, the part I cut is the top, it's the roof. I'm going to go to a corner on this building and draw a diagonal line. So I'm on the left corner. My line is going to go the same direction as the roof over here. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes down. Yeah, one that goes horizontal. So it looks like you took a Y and knocked part of it over. And this horizontal line touches the corner. Now we can see the front, the roof, and the side. Okay. You can take your house and make it so the lines go the other direction. So I could start on the right hand corner. I want this to go the same direction as the roof over here. Then line that goes straight down and the other part of our Y that hits the corner. So now we see the front, the side, and the roof. You could also leave one of them so it's flat too. So one will be 3D. The other one is either 3D or flat. And you don't need to color on both sides. I was just using this to show you how. Okay, we only need to really color on one side. Once you have that line drawn, then we worry about coloring in your roof. Try not to get crayon all over the table. Once your buildings are all decorated, you're going to pick one and put it on top of the hill. Make sure it's on your page and not hanging off the edge. So glue it down, massage, take the other one and decide where you want it to go. Our next task is to add details. So things that are far away will be small. Things that are close will be big. We also have to think about scale. We have to make objects the right size compared to other objects. For example, I have a barn. If I were to add some farm animals around the barn, would they be small or would they be as tall as the barn? They would be small. <laughs> we don't want a cow that's bigger than our barn. So we have to think about size. So one, I'm gonna start with a long driveway that curves down. And then as it comes closer to us, it will get wider. And then we will color that in. I can add other types of trees. So you start with a Y shape and start giving the Y more branches. And then think of what details you would see outside in a scene like this. 
So you might see a snowman that's the one built by the house. You might have a chimney on the house and have smoke coming out of it. You might have some random animals like deer, rabbits, foxes walking around. You might have a tractor stuck in the snow. For the very last step, once all your details are added, you will have white paint and a Q-tip. And we will use that to add some gently falling snow.